Recently, a piece of news has pushed the automatic driving industry into the spotlight. The former automatic driving unicorn Argo AI suddenly announced its disbandment because it was too far away from L for level automatic driving and did not have so much money. You must know that Argo AI is not an ordinary company. Backed by the two giants of Volkswagen and Ford, its valuation once reached 7.3 billion US dollars. It is a proper star in the industry. Argo AI is not alone. The same example is IBO, a veteran Lidar company that also declared bankruptcy due to lack of financing. Even Mobileye, Waymo, and other companies that are still persisting have seen their valuations drop sharply. Therefore, pessimistic voices are everywhere. Is the autonomous driving bubble about to burst? Hi! Welcome to Auto Age. Before we started today's video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Okay, let's get started. Regarding the successive bankruptcy of many automatic driving companies, in the eyes of many industry insiders, this is a foreseeable and normal situation. An obvious trend is that autonomous driving is starting the second half of the competition, and large-scale commercial operations will become the focus of industry development. For example, Baidu released its financial report for the third quarter a few days ago, emphasizing the commercialization results of its autonomous driving business. Among them, the cumulative fixed point and contracted amount of Baidu's Apollo Automotive Intelligence Solution is expected to reach 11.4 billion yuan recently. The cumulative number of car services reached 1.4 million. There is no doubt that these companies are still using their own performance to prove the ultimate value represented by autonomous driving. In fact, since the birth of the car, people's fantasies about autonomous driving have never stopped. In 1960, Germany made some attempts related to autonomous driving. In the 80s, the NavLab project at Carnegie Mellon University gave birth to the world's first vision-based autonomous vehicles. Fifteen years later, the NavLab 5 has driven 2,850 miles, 98% of which was autonomous. Of course, the real innovation stemmed from the emergence of LiDAR around 2006. With LiDAR, people have introduced distance into the field of autonomous driving. Then in 2009, Google's Waymo opened the prelude to the commercial development of the autonomous driving industry. However, for the research and development and implementation of autonomous driving technology, the industry has gradually developed different commercialization paths. One is a leap forward route, insisting on the development of L for level autonomous driving technology, which also represents the ultimate ideal of the industry. Data show that the vast majority of car accidents are caused by human factors such as speeding, drunk driving, and fatigue driving. Therefore, autonomous driving can improve traffic safety issues from the source. The bigger opportunity is that the current car resources are greatly wasted. According to Kuhn Franken and Juliet School, private cars are either stuck in traffic or parked 95% of the time. Through autonomous driving technology, while greatly improving the utilization rate of vehicles, autonomous driving companies are also expected to transform from technical services to operational services. But the problem is that both the founders and investors seriously underestimated the difficulty of commercializing advanced autonomous driving. The endless small probability events, high costs, and even the relative lag of relevant regulations have become obstacles to its commercialization. Since 2022, capital has gradually ebbed. According to statistics, China's financing amount in the first 10 months of 2022 is only 14.3 billion yuan, which is about 32% and 61% lower than the data in 2021 and 2020. Facts have proved that the scale effect is not only the secret of the auto industry, but also the trump card of the commercialization of autonomous driving. On the one hand, scale brings massive amounts of data required for autonomous driving technology. Judging from the current development of autonomous driving, 
John Yarkin's view that the most precious resource in the future is not oil, but data and algorithms put forward in 2008 still applies. This is also the source of confidence in Baidu's autonomous driving. Baidu is the first company in China to conduct extensive commercial operation of Robotaxi in China, and the related vehicles have been in mature operation for more than two years. This is also an important reason why Baidu's intelligent solutions are quite competitive in the market. In the past, L2-level assisted driving suppliers were mostly tire one such as Bosch and ZF. The advantage is that the solution is highly mature and plug-and-play, but it is relatively backward in function, and the experience varies greatly. Even so, this does not mean that car companies will pay more attention to the advancement of technology. From a functional point of view, safety and feasibility are the first things they consider. Therefore, for autonomous driving companies that cooperate in dimension reduction, both AI algorithm capabilities and engineering capabilities are indispensable. According to Baidu's financial report for the third quarter, AVP has been installed in Weimar W6, GAC's safety series models, Great Wall Havel Beast, Tank 500, Eula Lightning Cat and other models, and ANP2 has been mass-produced in Weimar W6 models. It is not difficult to see that large-scale application is the future of commercialization of autonomous driving. The autonomous driving commercialization model chosen by Baidu is obviously more feasible and reasonable. Although the hot money in the industry is not there, the autonomous driving industry is moving towards a healthier development path. On the one hand, cities including Beijing, Shanghai, and Shenzhen are issuing relevant policies to promote driverless intelligent connected vehicles. On the other hand, the penetration rate of new energy vehicles in China continues to rise. In the first nine months of 2022, the retail sales of new energy passenger vehicles in China will be 3.877 million, a year-on-year -year increase of 113.2%. The growth of new energy vehicles has also driven the market's demand for autonomous driving technology. In the first half of this year, the number of domestic passenger cars equipped with combined driving assistance functions reached 2.28 million, and the market penetration rate rose to 32.4%, a year-on-year -year increase of 46.2%. Under the catalysis of policies and markets, a group of autonomous driving companies are breaking out of the encirclement and entering a positive cycle, such as Baidu. The growth of services brings about the accumulation of more data. For autonomous driving, the most valuable resources are data and algorithms. Large-scale operations can promote the iteration of Baidu's autonomous driving technology to a considerable extent, making autonomous driving more perfect and safer. In addition to making the technology itself safer, this iteration will also provide strong support for the opening of relevant policies. In the recent notice issued by Beijing on autonomous driving and unmanned, Baidu became the first batch of approved companies. The same is true for Apollo's automotive intelligence solutions business. With the continuous release of market demand, Baidu's differentiated advantages in technology will lead to more cooperation and large-scale commercial operations, which in turn will promote technological progress. Just like three coupled gears, the rotation of one will drive the other gears to rotate together, thus forming a positive cycle. As the competition for new energy vehicles comes to the second half, autonomous driving is not only the core competitiveness of car companies, but also the ultimate goal. Some organizations predict that the global autonomous driving market will reach 162.9 billion US dollars in 2022, a year-on-year -year increase of about 14%. It is estimated that the global autonomous driving market will reach 3,219.7 billion US dollars in 2030. The Chinese autonomous driving market will grow even faster with a growth rate of about 24% in 2022. Therefore, the automatic driving business that is moving towards a positive cycle is not only expected to become a new driving force for Baidu's growth, 
but will also accelerate the iteration of the entire automatic driving industry. Okay, that's all for today. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.